Hi, welcome to the course of 5G. I'm really excited to take you through this course of 5G. And in this section, we'll focus upon 5G overview. We'll be covering different topics, right from the evolution of mobile networks, right from the second generation up till fifth generation. We'll look into the different standard bodies, such as ITU, International Telecommunication Union, and 3GPP, third generation partnership project, who are working towards evolving the overall ecosystem of 5G. There are different updates and release that are given by 3GPP and with the advancement in the technology time to time. And there are different working groups who are working on the different subsets of the 5G ecosystem in 3GPP. We'll understand what exactly the 5G is and what are the different key capabilities and deliverables of 5G ecosystem. What are the different design goals as compared to what we have seen in 4G? There are way above and beyond design goals that are defined in 5G along with the new use cases, which we haven't seen so far by the legacy technologies. And these new use cases are contributing not only towards the people or the society, but also to the economy by adding around 1.3 trillion USD dollar that is estimated to be achieved by 2030 by 5G technology. We'll talk about the evolution of mobile network first. So there are three key areas which are defining the technology, such as the downlink and uplink speed, the latency and the services that are being provided. In 1G, we have seen it's more about the analog services that were provided analog voice. In 2G, it was more towards the digital voice and the text services. Then after there was a, in 2.5G, the GPRS with a speed of 384 kbps was introduced. In 3G, we have seen around downlink speed of up to 42 Mbps with a latency of 200 millisecond and providing some new use cases such as mobile broadband and multimedia. In 4G, we have seen a new emerging use cases such as NBIoT and it was a faster mobile broadband with a speed of up to 1 Gbps and a latency as low as 100 millisecond. In 5G, there are many more new use cases which are not only restricted to the mobile broadband, but here it is being introduced uh, with the ultra reliable low latency services and the massive machine to machine communication and which has been not seen or leveraged so far in the previous legacy technologies. Let's go to the next section soon. See you there. Thank you.